Hello, Leo. This will be your love reading, the you and them reading. So I'm going to be looking at your energies as well as your person's energies and how you feel about each other. Um, it will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it will not resonate with every Leo watching. Make sure that you check out your other placements. They might be more prominent in your chart. Um, and, you know, sometimes it just won't resonate and that's okay. It just means that this week wasn't your reading. And we're going to get right into it. I'm actually using the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck today as the Oracle deck for Leo Spirit. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it for Leo Spirit. What do we need to know regarding their connection? This will be for those of you who already have someone in mind or a person in your life. For Leo, please. Let's start with your person. Spirit, tell me about Leo's person. What are their thoughts and feelings at this time towards Leo? What are their energies at this time? Towards Leo. We got Cosmic Egg. I'm gonna have to look that one up because that one is a spirit card. I think that one's about cycles, but I'm not sure. I'll have to read that one. What else? How does this person feel about Leo at this time? What are their energies at this time? Shark, interesting. So something here is not being said. Um, there's tension. There's something here that's not being addressed. Let's see, what about you, Leo? What are your energies like? Spirit, tell me about Leo. What energies do they bring to this connection? What are their feelings towards this other person? For Leo. Okay, we got Crocodile. Watching and waiting. What else can you tell me about Leo? What are their thoughts or feelings? towards their person. Gazelle, okay. Lots of watching. Your um, Gazelle's very um, aware, hyper aware almost. So let's see, I'm gonna um, check out the book here. You're gonna get a book as well if you decide to go with the Animal Spirit deck. It comes with this book that has all of the information about each card. Start with the cosmic egg because that one's the one that i really completion harmony infinite within the fi finite the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck yep i knew it it's about cycles kind of like the world card through self effort and grace we experience self-realization a sense of contentment and oneness arises within us The journey is complete, but it does not end. So there's something here about either an ending or a beginning. And I feel like your person is going through a cycle right now. Either they're wrapping up a cycle or they're ready to start a new one. I'm thinking it's wrapping up a cycle, but we'll see more when we look at the tarot. Um, and I feel like this is something that's causing a lot of tension with the shark. Um, this is about something that's not being addressed and it just builds and builds and builds. The tension builds kind of like the elephant in the room. So I think there's something your person needs to tell you. Let me look at the gazelle real quick. Heightened awareness and ability vulnerable. Definitely. So um, you're hyper aware and of your surroundings and it kind of keeps you from enjoying what's around you. Um, a lot of worrying with this card. Time to get back to the present moment and acknowledge the beauty, the bounty that surrounds you. So I feel like you are very aware of your person, probably thinking or watching them a lot, either on social media, maybe you're worried about this connection. Okay, Spirit, tell me what we need to know. 
for Leo. For Leo. I just Leo need to know regarding this connection. I just Leo need to know. What does Leo need to know? Let's start with your person. Spirit, give me some more insight into Leo's person, the person that they're dealing with right now. Okay, we got six of pentacles. The sun's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> I hope you can see that. What else can you tell me about Leo's person, please? Now is like the worst time to film because of the light, but I wanted to film right now. Spirit, what can you tell me about Leo's person? Oh, I think Spirit heard me. <laughs> There's a cloud that just showed up. Knight of Pentacles. Nice. An offer here. What else do we need to know about Leo's person? Their energy, Spirit. Can you tell us? tower reversed so trying to rebalance the situation um, avoid a tower make an offer here what else can you tell me about Leo's person page of wands Definitely communication um, happening here. What else for Leo? The Emperor reversed. I feel like this tower that your person is trying to prepare for or avoid is leaving them kind of stuck. They feel a little bit powerless, like they don't have a lot of control over what's happening here. I think it's affecting their new beginning or this message they want to send to you about a new beginning here. Maybe it's just not the right time because I have the wheel of fortune at the bottom here. So maybe it's just not the right time for your person to make something happen here let's see what about you tell me about leo knight of swords reversed can you tell me about leo tell me about leo Hangman. Again, watching and observing and waiting. King of Pentacles. What about Leo's energies towards this other person's spirit? What can you tell me? Four of Cups. So you're kind of closed off to new opportunities, um, not really interested in what's around you here. I don't think you're even aware of what's around you if you look at this card closely. Um, they're, they're being offered something, but they're not even open to... to oh my gosh, this is so annoying. <laughs> they're not even open to accepting this cup. What else? What 
What else can you tell me for Leo? Yeah, you're like defensive, I think. I don't think you're really either you're not interested in what this person is telling you or or you are not happy with where you are right now just in your personal life. You might have blocked some of you blocked this person. Because you're not interested in anything else that they, they want to say to you. Yeah, I have two cards here about like blockages. I feel like you're thinking about commitment, stability. Maybe you feel very grounded right now. And so you're not really needing anything else. Now your person, they definitely want to talk to you and tell you something. And I think what they want to tell you is something that they haven't been able to say. Let's see. Tell me about the six of pentacles. Why is the six of pentacles here? Queen of wands. Why is the Six of Pentacles your spirit? Why don't you tell me about the Six of Pentacles for Leo? Ace of Pentacles reverse. Something about a commitment here that possibly didn't take off, didn't work. Um, and it's like your person wants to restabilize this now. What else can you tell me about the Six of Pentacles? Could be that they don't have anything to give you too. The sun. Interesting. I think you're gonna be very happy. Oh, and then I have the moon at the bottom. Again, something that's not, something's not is off about this. And it has to do with either stability or children or family. Something is not how it seems or something like that. Something's off about this sun. I feel like you're this queen of wands here. And your person is almost like they want to give you this ace of pentacles. They want to make you happy. They want to rebalance the situation. But something's off about that. They want to bring you a stable offer, a slow and steady offer here. What's the tower reverse about? What's the tower reverse about? Yeah, so they, they I think they're trying to avoid a breakup or a separation here. They're trying to um, heal a breakup or a separation or they're trying to avoid it. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse. Queen of Swords. I feel like something here needs to be said. Tell me more about the Emperor Reverse. Could also be that this is you and you've created strong boundaries against this person. I think I'm speaking to two groups of people. One of you is going to be open to hearing this person now, and the other, I feel like you've blocked this person, and now they're trying to do damage control. Queen of Cups reversed. There could be a third party here, or it could just be that someone is, um, you know, your person might be trying to use kind of emotional manipulation. There's some sort of clinginess or attachment here. Codependency. Oh my gosh. And then there's the Three of Cups reversed. <laughs> I, I mentioned third party just like, you know, casually, because it's not every story. It's not everyone's story. Um, but I feel like this Queen of Cups reverse possibly is a third party interference here. And it's almost like your person's unable, un unable, unable to have control or 
or restabilize the situation. They don't have the power or the resources or even the confidence to do what needs to be done at this time, possibly due to this interference here. I mean, they want to communicate and they want to bring you an offer. These are very clear messages here. I mean, I want, you know, it's like, I feel this is their intentions. You know, bring back balance. But then I have a tower reverse. I have an emperor reverse. And I have the sun that came out with the moon reverse with an ace of pentacles reverse. So it's like either there was a broken commitment in the past with this person or this person, even if they want to commit to you, they can't. What is this king of pentacles about on your side? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. What's this? Page of Swords reverse, Temperance reverse. So I feel like you, this person might have been deceptive in the past. Maybe something wasn't able to come together because someone wasn't honest. Um, it could be that you are tired of waiting for someone. Yeah, and just when I say that, there's the Seven of Pentacles reverse, which I mean, not reverse, at the bottom of the deck. Um, I don't think that's the card. I think it's this one, this Two of Pentacles, but I picked it up and it was this card at the bottom. So I'm taking it as a message. Um, but the Two of Wands reverse, though, this is someone that has chosen a path. I feel like you have chosen a path, a new path, a new direction. Um, it could also be that this person was um, unfaithful to you and had a wandering eye. I just want to mention that that's a possibility as well. And I feel like you are over this. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Let's see what we can get here. Spirit, why is the Four of Cups here? I feel like you're hyper aware with the gazelle watching and waiting because you're in protection and defensive mode here. Five of Cups reversed. What else can you tell me about this five? Nope, this Four of Cups, please. Why is the Four of Cups here? Three of Pentacles. I feel like you walked away because of a third party or because something here, something to do with work or effort. Maybe an interference got in the way and now you're no, no longer interested. I feel like you're completely over the past here. Let's see. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. For Leo, can you tell me about the Four of Cups? King of Wands. We have a pair on the board. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. I feel like this, I feel like again, I just don't think you are very motivated or inspired or interested. I think you have healed, overcome the past, overcome the disappointment. Maybe you're ready to rebuild your life. Uh, maybe you want to work with someone else. What's at the bottom here? Yeah, it's almost like you want to break free of this. This King of Wands. Or maybe you need to break free of the past in order to have a to go after something else here in order to rebuild tell me about the hangman because this is about getting new clarity enlightenment why is the hangman here Okay, you tell me to take him. Okay, yeah. See, this is what I see. I see someone really thinking about the past, maybe withdrawing from the past, seeing the past differently. They are listening to their inner voice with the hermit here. I feel like this is what you've been doing. 
Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Not Pentacles. Why am I saying Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Very defensive energy with the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ten of Wands reverse. You've dropped a burden. No longer carrying a weight on your shoulders here. Fighting for something, standing up for something. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is you. You want to do things on your own, be stable, be successful, be independent. I feel like you're defending yourself. I get one more for the Seven of Wands. You're defending yourself and almost like you deserve better. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Even if this person approaches you, you might already be uh, on your own path, a different path. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. A path where you rely on yourself. Oof. Two of Cups. And then bottom of the deck, the Moon again. See, there's something here. There's an illusion about this connection. There's something hidden or something that is... Um, mysterious or confusing about this connection and i feel like you you know that i feel like you're trying to fight this it's like you would rather be single that's what i'm getting here you don't want to uh, be burdened again some of you i feel like this burden is something from your past and doesn't have to do with this person. Some of you, I feel like, for those of you that resonate with that, I feel like you let go of the past, you withdrew from it, and um, maybe it didn't work out, maybe you've been lied to or hurt, and now you're very hyper aware of your surroundings and who you deal with. You don't just let anybody in. And now that you're single and successful and independent or just stable and grounded again, now you get this two of cups here and you're like unsure of what to do what direction to go on and it could be this person that's approaching you these are very um it could be that this person broke their commitment to head towards you and now they're offering you something small um, but I feel like your person, this person is actively avoiding a tower, um, that has to do with a partnership. It has to do with kind of like, they're trying, they're trying to fix something is the vibe that I'm picking up here. And I feel like there's interferences and yeah, otherwise I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.